Hey, does this rag smell like chloroform to you? Yeah, mind sniffing that? You, you have to get that, right? Come on. Does this rag smell like chloroform? You smell chloroform, you like, psh, pass out, okay? If you're stupid, you won't get it, but I mean, that's basically what it is. It's what the, uh, like, it's amnesia kind of stuff. And that amnesia dash like a fairy. Hey, <laughs> Rick, what are you smoking, stupid? Ah. Hello, well. Anyways, it's Adam here. Uh, the comments you guys left in the last video let me know that you wanted to have more camp stories. I got like five or six saying, yo, dude, more camp stories. And don't go back and count because I'm pretty sure that I didn't get five or six, but I got a fair amount, so I decided, well, screw it. I'm going to upload some camp videos. Uh, and, well, not upload camp videos, but, you know, I'm going to upload some uh, funny camp stories. And uh, the one I've chosen for today, uh, there might be two depending on how long this one takes. Uh, you know the, the typical camp story, or the typical uh, way to go at camp is to make sure that you uh, are playing pranks on people. Uh, and this was the camp up in Alaska. It was uh, for it was called Salt Service and Leadership Training. Uh, I went to it for one year. I was supposed to go for it for two, but I wasn't able to go the second year because I was moving, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, basically, they don't like you to um, like they don't like it when you when you prank people because uh, like the week before that some kid had gotten like seriously injured, like he broke his arm trying to do a prank or something. I don't remember, but he uh, basically he said that uh the um like some kid got really badly hurt and uh we so they said we'll refrain from the pranking unless a counselor pranks you in which case you're allowed to prank back so we kind of expected counselors to prank us prank us at the beginning of the week uh but no one ever actually did and it was a two-week thing and so towards the end of the week though we got a uh group of guys that like that i was friends with personally and we didn't know it was them at the time but like we came home from a uh, late like we would do like uh uh like these servant uh stuff like classes at at like at eleven o'clock at night and then we come back and so we came back one night and all of our beds were gone like everybody's beds and all of our stuff was gone and so uh it kind of sucked honestly because it was raining that night like I guess the people who pranked us didn't plan on it raining but it was and so it was raining after they put our stuff out on the on the roof right they put all of our stuff out on one of these camp roofs I don't even know I think they just threw it all up there I guess and they let put our stuff up there too uh, thankfully most of our stuff was in waterproof packs and uh, and containers and whatnot so it wasn't too big of a deal about our stuff but uh, so we were like, wow, what are we going to do with that? How are we going to sleep? So we actually ended up, uh, I climbed on top of the roof and threw all of our stuff down. Like, I grabbed all the bags and whatnot and threw it onto the ground. And I was able to uh, just devise a plan where um, while they were out doing a uh, nature camp thingy, we would go into their rooms, take all of their beds, spray down their beds again, or make, spray down our beds again so they were super wet. And then put them back and put our beds back in their bunks and put their bunks beds back into ours. So we got all the really nice dry ones. And they came back from that camp out later on that night, and they came storming into our cabin like, "What you guys do? Where are our beds?" And we're like, "They're still in there." He's like, "No, these ones are soaked." And we're like, "Yeah, we just you know we we thought you wanted our beds, so we took them out of the you know we like yeah." And so then again, uh, like. They took, they then took like our beds back the next day, or their beds back the next day, and so we devised another plan where we would take a, um, we went, like we had all the recycling and stuff from camp boxes, you know how there's a lot of camps, like at camps, you know, people eat a lot, so you have like cardboard boxes all over the place from empty, yeah, empty food bins, and so we took all the empty food bins, and we like just took them all, and threw them all over their room, like just all of it we just grabbed it and carried it from the uh, shed or whatever into their rooms and uh, they were pretty mad they actually told one of the camp counselors like one of the older guys uh, that we had what we had done and uh, it was cool though because the guy our camp counselor like our our um, the guy the leader of the group said that uh, they started it and so we didn't actually get in trouble which ended up being really nice uh, so that's a, another camp story I've got a lot more of these if you do want to uh, hear more of these please comment down below and tell me that you like them because I really they're actually pretty easy they're fun to commentate uh, over uh, anyways guys thank you so much and I'm doing this on a Roxio so if the voice quality isn't as good as possible, tell me as well. Uh, anyways, if you didn't enjoy this commentary, please do me a favor and like it. Right there, I died off a 20 kill streak. Peace, yo!